A warm welcome to one and all who are watching this video. This is Ashwin from Informatica Customer Support who is here to present the uh, presentation on how to run the audit log archive folder job and the update retention policy for the same. The today's agenda is to run the audit log archive job where we'll be running the um, archive job uh, and the loader job for uh, archiving the audit folders and creating the audit uh, log folder in the data vault then we'll be verifying the loaded archive tables in the data vault using the ssa admin command subsequently we will be purging the archive data on the data vault uh, to remove the data from the am uh, archive uh, audit uh, uh, data vault uh, table To start with, first we need to run the audit log archive job and the loader job. We need to go to the administration, audit logs and uh, we need to go to the settings. We need to uh, schedule uh, the configure the uh, parameters before scheduling the archive job. The audit level can be for either audit data deletion, audit metadata modification or audit data access. Uh, we can select uh, one by one and then uh, subsequently run the uh, uh, archive schedule for the audit log. Uh, the default file archive folder into which the data will be loaded in the data world is ILM audit logs. We will need to create ILM audit logs archive folder if you haven't created uh, it before. The other configurations are similar to the configurations that we specify on uh, the uh, target connection for a data vault in the ILM, we'll need to specify a staging directory, a data directory and the host and port uh, related information along with the username and password. Then we will need to go to the archive schedule tab and we need to uh, schedule the recurrence based on whether we want the archive loader job to run immediately or it should be on a daily basis or on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis depending upon the batch and it will run at a specific time that we schedule. For now, we'll run the immediate. Uh, we got to go ahead and click on the schedule archive job. Go to jobs and monitor jobs so that we'll see that an archive job has been scheduled. We could see here the uh, audit archive job and the loader job have been successfully completed. So um, if we look at the logs, we can see that um, the uh, audit logs have been stored into the ILM audit logs data vault folder. Uh, now we can uh, go and verify the same in the data vault. So now we have logged into the um, data vault administration through SSA admin. When we look at the list of databases, we see a uh, audit log database that has been created. And now we can view the list of tables we are able to see that uh, there are uh, the uh, uh, ILM repository tables that has been updated in the DBO schema and there have been two new um, tables that have been created one is the uh, AM audit detail and AM audit header which are the tables that are going to contain the information about the uh, audit logs the next thing that we are going to do here is to run the update retention policy job for the audit logs that have been created so that if we want to purge the audit uh, logs that has been stored in the data vault after a period of time we can uh, purge it based on the uh, retention policy that we have created so we need to go to administration audit log and settings the same way then we need to set the retention policy we can modify the retention policy to a different value and depends upon whether it's month year or indefinite we can also set an indefinite retention policy which means that the data in the data vault for the audit logs will never be um, purged and uh, despite the purge schedule being run so i'm modifying the uh, retention uh, time period to uh, four months here from two months and i'm saving the connection which will uh, trigger the uh, up, uh, update retention policy job for the audit uh, logs you could see here the uh, reports have been generated and the update, update retention policy jobs have been run for um, the am audit header and the am audit detail table 
and it has been successfully completed we can verify that uh, yeah, we can be monitor jobs uh, we just saw that uh, we can run the uh, AM archive uh, audit archive job and the loader job from audit log settings and the ILM audit logs will be created in the data vault uh, subsequently we verified the archive tables in the ILM audit folder and we also ran the update retention policy which will update the AM audit header and the AM audit detail table on the data vault uh, the third thing that we can do is once the retention policies have been set on the table we can purge the uh, records based on the retention policies that have been set um, when this purge uh, uh, job is run the contents of the AM audit header and AM audit detail will be deleted uh, depending upon the retention policy that will be set uh, in order to run the purge uh, return purge archive uh, data we need to follow the below steps we will need to go to administration audit logs settings same way instead of the archive schedule we need to go to the purge schedule and we can schedule the recurrence it can we can schedule it in the same way as a batch on a weekly or a monthly basis and we can schedule the purge job which will uh, complete the uh, purge data depending upon the retention policy that has been set we can see here the uh, purge expired records job has been completed the uh, delete expired records is going to delete from the AM detail at the AM header table and it has completed successfully so in today's video we saw how to run an archive log for the um, archive job and data vault loader job for the audit logs and uh, see the data that has been loaded into the data vault the audit log data in the data vault and subsequently we ran a retention policy for the AM uh, audit detail and the AM header table which will contain the audit log information and then we ran a purge job which will go ahead and delete the records based on the retention policy that has been set. Thank you for watching this video. We'd love to hear from you uh, to get a feedback on uh, any um, information related with the ILM product. You can go to support videos at informatica.com or you can go to https twitter.com slash info support and tweet for any feedbacks that you want you want to give related with this video. Thanks for hearing out on this video. Thank you.